All right, Frankie, here to talk FBS transition. No better person to talk to than you. You've been around this city a while in this program with your dad and the great job he did here at Liberty. And it's so exciting to get to talk to student athletes and the coaches about this transition. Does it still feel kind of new that we haven't had this full season yet like we are coming up this fall? Um, it's still kind of new a little bit, uh, you know, learning the new rules and everything like that uh, surrounding FBS. But uh, at the end of the day, it's still football. It's still basketball. It's still, you know, every sport that we've had a dream of playing um, since we were little kids. So, um, yes, it's new. There's some new um, things that we have to account for. But at the same time, it's still ball at the same day. Take me back to that moment when you found out the NCAA approved the waiver for you guys to go FBS. Oh, that was huge. I mean, it went through the whole entire locker room uh, quickly. Um, somebody found out and somebody told somebody and somebody else told somebody. Um, and it was just excitement. Um, we we're all excited that a dream was finally coming true. I know all of us in that locker room have had a dream of playing FBS ball since uh, we were children, since we played Little League. Um, and now that it's here, you know, we're, we're excited. We're ready to go. The work ethic doesn't change regardless of making this move, but how has that decision changed the excitement maybe of each workout? Um, we know what we have to do. We know we have to be competitive every single game. Um, Auburn, ODU, Army, it doesn't matter who we're playing, Norfolk State. Um, so it doesn't matter what workout we have. We have to be competitive in that workout with each other and with ourselves. What question are you guys keep getting asked by people or, or maybe tired of answering about this move? Um, you know, the schedule. That's, that's the biggest thing. Um, we have a lot of top uh, people on our schedule, and uh, there's a lot of questions on if we can handle that, that work, we, if we can handle uh, those people, those teams. But um, they're men just like us, um, and, and we're not afraid of anybody here at Liberty. Yeah, the answer to that is check the Baylor game last year. That answered all the questions, in my opinion, on that sure. and should have silenced a lot of the critics when it comes to competing in the FBS and, and what it's going to take. All right, stadium expansion. You come up to the stadium every day. You kind of see the, the nuances of what's going to happen with it. Uh, what's your favorite kind of route to come onto campus to kind of see the changes each day? Uh, I come off of the 460 exit, which means the first thing I see every day is that football stadium. Um, it's my motivation. Um, you know, seeing the progress of this school um, that my family is involved with uh, so much um, and we have so much support for the school. Uh, just being able to see the expansion and see how God has worked here um, the past, you know, even decade mm -hmm. uh, has been amazing for my family and uh, it's ultimately motivation for every day of work. We're a couple of weeks removed from spring ball. Now that y you kind of see that ODU game coming up here pretty quick. Uh, where does your attention focus now emotionally as that Monarch game starts to get here really quick? Um, you know, it's going to be an emotional game. It's our first game um, of the season. We always want to compete. We always want to win. Um, it's a local team um, as far as, you know, them being in the uh, same state as us, uh, possibly a rivalry, you know, any in, in the near future. So, uh, it's it's very emotional. It's the first you know game in the new expanded stadium, um, but going into it again, it's just another football game. It's just another team on the other side um, that we want to beat. What's your favorite thing outside of the game itself, but enjoying a game day experience at Liberty? The camaraderie, definitely. Um, you know, just being in the locker room with my with my brothers um, right before we go out. Uh, we crank up a little music, and uh, it's usually music that we can all, um, you know, get along with and that we can all usually recite. Mm -hmm. um, and it, it gets us all together right before we go out and, you know, go to battle. A couple more thoughts here. A couple of years ago, uh, the athletic department implemented the, the team walk, and you've had it at different, you know, venues on mm -hmm. campus as you meet the fans and get off the bus. What's it like getting off that bus for that team walk and seeing the fans and shaking hands as you make your way to the stadium? Oh, it's huge. It uh, definitely allows us to think about uh, more than just us, more than just uh, about the football game. Um, we have people who are here to support us. We have our families who are sometimes that we see on the walk too. So it's just a, a reminder, a quick little reminder before we go out there and warm up and, and actually get to play. 
um, who we're playing for and what we're doing this for. Final thought here, Frankie. Part of the marketing push this fall for the football program, the theme, Rise With Us. Not sure if you've heard that or not, but when you think of that in the move FBS, Rise With Us, put that into words for you what that means to you. Honestly, there's a lot of people who don't believe that we can make this move. Um, and what we have decided, you know, as a, as a team is that it's us. It's the Liberty family or nothing at all. Either you're going to support us or you're not going to support us. So either you're going to rise with us or you're just going to watch us rise. All right, Frank, you appreciate the time. Well put. Like, can't wait for this ball, okay?